We have been talking a lot about sewing fails on this channel lately, and even how I was able to take three garments, okay, well, two of them, if you don't count the fail of a fail, from the depths of my closet and bring them front and center. And today's make has a similar but different backstory. So I got this fabric from Stylemaker Fabrics a few years ago. It's a really nice, thick French terry with a really cool tropical print on it. So it had this sort of juxtaposition between winter and spring, which I love as a transitional piece. And she had a matching solid for the contrast, so I was sold. Initially, I set out to make something that would push the winter versus spring thing like even further. I was going to make a cold shoulder sweatshirt. Great idea in theory, very, very bad idea in execution, mostly because I tried to use this pattern, which is A, designed for a woven, and B, designed for a lightweight woven. What a mess. There were a million problems making this, and I had many, many, many make it work moments. But ultimately, the collar was an absolute disaster, so I never finished it. There's not a single photo of it. I didn't even hold on to it to try and revive it later. And y'all know how I do that all the time. So then you know that this must have been bad for me to just chuck it. Honestly, if I could just erase it from my memory, like it never existed, that would be fine too. So now with all that negativity behind us, I still did love the fabric and luckily had some scraps left from my previous attempt. So much, in fact, that I was able to eke out this super cute sweatshirt, like I literally had threads of fabric left. The pattern I used is McCall's 6992, and it is a tried and true, so much so that I will never, ever buy another Raglan sweatshirt pattern again. It is that good. Try to get your hands on this one if you can. I ended up having to shorten it by one inch to get the pattern to fit, but I was okay with a little cropped sweater. The bands all came from Pacific Trim on one of my trips to New York City's garment district. I love the athletic touch they give to this otherwise feminine top. I've worn it already a ton, both with white pants like this sort of dressy look and with jeans and sneakers. It's super cute both ways. So ultimately, even though I wasn't able to revive the former garment, I was still able to get a fabric that I love out of my stash and into my wardrobe. I've turned a negative memory associated with this fabric into a positive one. It's really all butterflies and rainbows over here. <laughs> Let me know what you think of my new sweater and if you've ever had a situation like this happen to you. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you very soon. Bye.